Yeah. Okay, mate. Uh, let's have a look here. A and J. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I hope you're well, mate. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a frustrating one, of course. I mean, I do remember us talking about it up here, about the potential failed move of this. It's already extended. Uh, move and once it drops, then, you know, that, that's, that's all she wrote. It did, uh, it did retrace. Now we have something similar on the, on, on the top here. You had a failed move higher. At this point, there is a potential failed move to the downside, right? And and we are holding. So the the hope, at least, and I will look at the other time frames in a minute. This is a failed move to the downside, and it is getting bought back up a little bit, like the way this was a failed move to the to the upside here. Um, I do like all that gives the potential buying pressure down in here, or at least it's trying to be at this point. Uh, there's eight days left until a new month. So that, that's what you want to see on a new month. So you want to see some sort of follow through. You want to see, uh, you know, the, a little bit of the wick getting filled. Ideally holding above this, this line here. Once, once this line gets certainly broke back to the upside, you want to see some clear holding above that white line that I drew. It's just a straight line coming out of there. That, that is the level. Um, that will be a sign that the buyers are starting to take control again and potentially push this up. Uh, so far, they are good signs. There is no capitulation or nothing, uh, at least not on the monthly chart. Uh, let's just flick. Um, let's delete that now, actually. Um, this is what you want to see, right? That, that's, you know, you can't really fault that at this point. It is a huge candle up, right? And, and it's filling that candle. So we are filling that candle. Now, obviously, you want to try and see some sort of you know, maybe fill this wick and then get a move up. Uh, you know, build out some sort of base and, and, and try and try and attack this high again. It's it's pretty normal, uh, to be honest. You, you know, when you look at that, you can see that that's a four. It's a forty x. Yeah, bloody hell! I forgot it ran that much. Uh, that's a forty x to the upside. So uh, that's a big, big, big move and a big, big sign. That's a that's a powerful sign. Now, what I will say is, of an old season. This was a leader, right? This was a leader. There's no question about that. So if we are going to, you have to, you know, we'll do very, very well. Uh, I mean, there's a hundred dollars up here. Um, if we have an alt season and, and every other coin is starting to run, well, this is going to do extremely well because this was one of the, le one of the leaders. So although it's pulled back now, uh, it has that benefit of being a leader. It's a little bit like Link. Uh, you know, we could, we could look at length very quickly. Um, hopefully my internet holds up here. It's a bit, uh, dodgy. I'm on. I mean, you can see there. Link moved early. See this move here? That just that stuff. Um, this was a huge move early for Link. Like Link was already 7x. Three months candle, by the way. Um, so that was a leader, and and then it consolidated here uh, before breaking out and going parabolic, I suppose. But you have to remember, no other coins were moving when Link done that first move, and no other coins were moving when A and J done this move. Really, uh, you know, there was there some moves, of course, but not really. This was out there on its own. So we have to kind of hope that Link, or, sorry, that A and J is doing something like Link and getting that first move and then consolidating before going to go parabolic if the rest of the market is going to go parabolic. I mean, that that would be the ideal situation. Um, I know it had a lot of good fundamental news and stuff like that. I forget exactly right now, to be honest, off the top of my head when I'm making this video. Uh, it's been a while since you heard a lot about the ANJ stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it was touted to be the next big thing and all the rest. But um, so... Yeah, I mean, let, let me just check the market cap. Okay, so two billion, right? It has room to run. There's no question about that. It has room to run. Uh, the circulating supply, yeah, the, most of the supply is already out as well um, from the looks of that because the, you know, the, it's almost at full capacity. Uh, so that's great. That's what you want. Um, very good, actually. Uh, you know, a lot of these coins, like, 
come at the moment is like 16 billion from memory or is it 30 billion? Uh, don't quote me on it, 16 or 30 billion, but I remember thinking it's ridiculous uh, for that coin. It, it just got launched on Binance and all the rest. Um, but anyway, the the a lot of other coins ran into the billions. Uh, don't know, even XRP and lots of other coins, you know, but if this is as real as people were talking about it, then then this ideally could be some sort of a range that it's building out, you know, before a real move, if we do get that all season. So, so far, this is what you want to see, to be honest, uh, because you've had, the, you've had the power move, uh, you know, you, you get your full first move back into support. I didn't draw that very well, but, you, you know, uh, this was resistance and it's now acting as support, as you can see here. So as long as you're holding above in this area, this is still within a good chance of, you know, building some sort of base here before going higher. So, uh, this, if you did hold this, I don't know where you to get. Uh, I do remember we talked about up on this. You can watch the old previous videos we talked about. Uh, there was, maybe I'll go to the daily or uh, was some sort of pattern. I, I remember. Yeah, that's the pattern right there. Uh, it's the second time we've done this pattern from memory. They don't want here as well. Um, and, and before it happened, you know, I made videos about it saying that it, it, it's already done this. Um, it was back here. My internet is absolutely terrible right now. It's, it's very frustrating. Yeah, here. Uh, so it done the same thing here. And, uh, you know, we had talked about in the past, you gotta be, you gotta be careful because it's already had this pattern and it can be a failure. So, um, but let's hope it's not going to do the same as this. Let's hope it rounds back up and I, I was able to continue to the upside because in theory, all season should not have even started yet. In, in theory, the last year, the fourth year of the cycle is always has in the past has always been the hot year. So let's see if it can continue. Uh, hopefully it does. But um, yeah, so anyway, uh, if I flip to the yearly chart here, I hope you can hear me here. Um, I had to pause the video there. But the yearly chart, as you can see here, is still red with the bearish yearly stop on right? So that's not ideal. You know, it, it's it, it's kind of telling us that it likely needs a new year before it's going to do anything real. Um, can you push up at all? Yes, you can. But uh, I would say that you need a new year. There's four months left. Uh, but, you know, let's see. This is a good start. This is kind of what you want to see. But, uh, you know, it's a six month chart, uh, and a three month chart and obviously a one month chart here. They're starting to, starting to try to do something. But overall, it, to me, it looks like it'll probably need a new year. You probably want to see something like this on a new year. Maybe a wick down to take liquidity or even a wick down below these lows and then, then start moving back up, right? And, and, and the big, big yearly candles, the reversal candles. Uh, if, if, because we don't normally get that, and that would break the four-year cycle. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to look ahead that much yet. It's next year that is the important year, and we want to see a green yearly candle.